Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are starting a new project in the world of Amirea, which is where we have been building for quite a while now. It's where we're building Krasberg and uh, lately we've been building on Camlet and today we are starting somewhere new because we kind of finished off Camlet in the last video. If you enjoyed today's episode, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I do a lot of building on my channel and you really don't want to miss that. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with what we're doing today. Uh, today we are building Seafort. It's uh, a castle south of Camlet. It's not very far uh, from Camlet. I, I, I bet if you increase the render distance, you could probably see uh, both of them at the same time. And as you can see, it's a small rock outside the cliffs of southern Amirea, where we're building a little castle, more of a, like a... I don't know, manor or something on this rock with some defense. Uh, and uh, I want it to be like just a small little community. We have this keep where uh, people are living, the Lord of Seafort. Uh, and then we're going to build a little village on the cliffs uh, on mainland. And it's just going to be like some small trading villages. We have some, some harbors with some boats coming in and out and stuff. And then eventually I want to tie this in with Camlet to kind of draw a little bit of a storyline there where um, where uh, Camlet gets some of their goods from Seafort and so on. It's also very close to Asa. I'm gonna get the map up now on the screen so you can see how close it is. You can also see some of the other buildings that we have been working on. So basically the idea is to just build this little community village thing here. Uh, to start off I wouldn't just do the castle here. Today we are doing the, the main building and not an entire island because I do want to keep um, adding stuff to this and uh, when it comes to like uh, character and smaller buildings here and there and then detailing the cliffs surrounding it. I also want to play with the storyline because this uh, rock is very nicely positioned and I think it makes sense that people have been using this rock as their home for many many years so I want to see if we can play with that and make it feel like people have been uh, staying on uh, the Rock of Seaforth. Uh, maybe we should have a name. I don't know. Maybe you can come up with something. And that uh, we can see the people, the history of people using this rock over the years, over the centuries uh, in the building we're doing here. And then eventually I want to get to the little village here. Not sure if we're going to do that straight away or later. But I do want to get that done. And also some of you guys uh, which have found this place while stalking me knows that there are some nice, very uh, rugged cliffs and stuff around here where we could do some shipwrecks. So it's going to be a fun project. I'm really looking forward to this. Please make sure to let me know down below what you think of this one. Uh, I'm going to finish off the time lapse here and I'm going to take you for a first person point of view. As Seafort is built on this little rock in the ocean, I felt like having a hanging bridge like this would make so much sense and also just add a lot of character to this place. It's so unique to have this long wooden hanging bridge like that, rope bridge, and I do gotta say, it looks pretty nice. It really adds some character to this and uh, makes this place really unique. So that's the idea behind this. We have this long bridge and that's gonna make Seafort so defendable. Uh, I do wanna have a little bit of a harbor on the island itself uh, for some minor goods because it would be a, be a big pain to bring, let's say, uh, barrels of stuff over here um, even if it's windy or not windy it would be horrible but with the wind and stuff it would be super dangerous so basically this is just to keep the people from getting here um, as you saw in the time lapse, we do have a little gatehouse here uh, where we're gonna have I think we're gonna do like a little harbor here so small boats not big boats because it's very shallow uh, they need to come from here from the mainland which is over here uh, I do want to build some villages uh, very like shattered on this land here it's so cool and have some small harbors around I think it's gonna be pretty cute when it's done and they could send like a small rowing boat or something over here to, um, to feed or just bring goods, I suppose, through this little gatehouse here. I think that's really nice. Uh, so yeah, and let's get over here and uh, take a look at what we have here. So there's a little gatehouse right here, which uh, is gonna be like the first line of defense, of course. The rope bridge itself is also very 
very defendable i suppose uh, and actually you could be able to just chop it off and people on it would drown so uh, there's a lot of good ways to defend sea fort which i think is nice so yeah there's a little bit of a gatehouse i suppose here there's two gates uh, you can go in here there's um some arrow slits on either side and we got a ladder going up so you could actually have people standing guard on top here as well uh, which again is super neat and super defendable and on the side here we have just like a little bit of stuff this is what I want to add on the entire island to uh, just to give you an example of what is to come here uh, like smaller sheds like this here you can see I punched a hole I do want to do some stuff below here uh, smaller trees flagpoles um, and just things here and there to make it come alive in a way here you can see the windows are really like this uh, it's so simple just a stone building and uh, it really works and we do have a lot of gradient happening here and it's something I like to play around with as I've told you in the past we're having a darker kind of rock at the bottom and uh, some bricks and uh, was that dolomite dolomite yeah and then it transforms I suppose grades to uh, the light tra tavernite bricks I think that's what it called travertine bricks yes uh, so that's kind of nice and I just like the way that the fade works on a building like this it makes it look more old and worn down i suppose windows are kind of gothic inspired and i think it really fits with the building we got here uh, so yeah uh, let's keep on going uh, as you can see there's a lot of stuff to finish here but uh, this is all i have time for for one episode and uh, there's a little gatehouse here as well i do want to finish this off uh, with a little bit of a gate and stuff but just another line of defense here, which brings you to the little courtyard here. Do you want to have some stalls, maybe some small houses and stuff? And this wraps around here. Still want to do some more houses and stuff down there. And then we have the stair or slope going down to this little gatehouse here, which uh, also needs to be properly finished, I suppose. Um, but yeah. Over there you can also see the small uh, rocks I was talking about. I do want to do like a shipwreck or something there. I think that would be awesome. Uh, to indicate how yeah, harsh the weather can be uh, in this place. And basically the building is consisting of three parts. You have the bigger building which is this one right here. Then we have a small diagonal building which is connected to all of that. And then the tower which uh, makes it look super cool. Still super simple. It's nothing too fancy and that's kind of what i'm thinking that c4 this it's not it's not the lords of Kratzbergs who lives here it's a simple family on a rock and i do want to try to make that shine through the building we're doing here but yeah let's go inside and take a little look there's a little uh, stair leading up here to a little patio thingy and this again all this is going to be finished probably by next uh, episode from this place in here we have the hallway it's kind of dark uh, but uh, you kind of can see how it is and this leads into another hallway so this will kind of be like the first hallway and then we have a gallery over here we do have some armor for maybe the lord and his son or something and then some nice small windows looking out here really like that uh, this leads into a staircase, which you're going to check out later. Uh, but it also leads to the dining hall, which is over here, with some nice stained windows looking out towards the sea. And I think that's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, it's a very small dining room, but again, Seafort is a small castle, so it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. And then the kitchen is here in the bottom of the tower. So um, what we have here is uh, like a little oven thing and then some uh, uh, cupboards and stuff around here to uh, make the food on. And I think it's kind of nice the way it's circular like this and some shelves and stuff. I think it makes it feel unique. And you know me, I like doing unique stuff, but it still feels realistic in a way. So around here we can go down the staircase. Uh, so let's go down first, uh, we can also go up to the second and third and fourth, possibly fifth, I can't remember, <laughs> floor. Uh, so we go down here into the basement, so this is kind of carved out of the rock. Uh, so uh, there's just like a small little basement here, again, nothing too fancy. To the right, we do have the buttery, where we have uh, some wine and beer and stuff being stored. So that's kind of cool, uh, just because you need that kind of to 
store some uh, drinks, I suppose. And then we have a pantry here, so there's some uh, some flour, some eggs, herbs, jams, and just things stored in here. It's very small, uh, and it, it's not so supposed to be that big. And I, as I said, I do want to make the um, I don't know the the wealth of C4 to shine through the building. So we're going up the staircase here. Uh, we can either go this way. Or we can go uh, continue and then go out to this balcony here. This one overlooks the entire area and will probably be a nice area to have your morning coffee or something. I don't know what these people will be drinking, but still, you know, it's kind of a nice view from here. And this also leads into... I do need to fix the doors. I realize I forgot some doors. Uh, to um, the audience chamber, I suppose, or maybe, I don't know where... Lord Seafort would maybe discuss battle plans or just uh, politics and stuff like that with um, uh, his enemies and friends, I suppose, in this little room right here. Very cozy, and there's a big fireplace to, to uh, warm it up in the harsh, uh, wet weather we do have here on the rock. And then we have a little gallery again. Uh, which leads, um, or just kind of continues the building here. Straight ahead, we have the uh, the first bedroom. This would be for one of the kids. Very simple. It's in a diagonal part of the building here. So that's that. And then uh, it goes to the right here. And then we have like the tea room, or um, I don't know, the, the Lord's relaxing room. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. Uh, but yeah, you sit here, have some tea or wine or coffee or whatever and you just have the most beautiful view through these windows so you just sit here read a book or something i don't know it's kind of cool though uh, so yeah let's go back around and go up the staircase to the next floor so this here is we're uh, approaching the top of this building here so you can really see that here uh, so there's a big hallway here and this leads into the master bedroom which is here so we have a big fireplace again for the master bedroom and uh, you can sit here enjoy some stuff and then uh, look back at mainland to to kind of i don't know protect it as well uh, but again i don't think that would be too much of uh, a need in this place because you're really 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 secure on this island here and then just a king size bed because we need that so that's kind of cool uh, I'm digging this uh, room here. I love the windows we have and makes it so nice and grand uh, But still not too big and posh in a way and it really really reflects what I think Seafort is In here we do have another bedroom uh, On the top or not the top but the third floor of the circular tower and uh, so we have a bed here a little desk to see that and uh, Just some more beautiful views all over the place here so I think that's kind of cool. You can come on the server and check it out for yourself. Uh, I'm gonna be able to set a warp here so you can just warp C4 to get here. Hopefully I will get that done. And here we have a little bathroom thingy just to do your business, I suppose. So yeah, if we're gonna continue up, we need to take this staircase. This goes up to uh, another bedroom, which is up here all the way up. So that's really, really nice. You can just sit here and relax and stuff and again beautiful view so um yeah i'm trying to pause a little bit here so you guys can really see um but sometimes i'm getting too excited so i move around too quick so uh please just let me know if the pacing is good or not in this door here we're actually getting into the top of the main tower and this is the private chapel of seafort and uh, so um it, it's a part of the castle, it's not a separate building, and this is where the Lord and stuff would uh, pray. Uh, this is the Lord, no, the Mika, Mika, the god of Mika, which is the god of hunting. Uh, so hunting, or the Mika would be the god for hunting, like wild animals, but also fishing. And uh, I think fishing would be very, very common at Seafort. So yeah, uh, just some chairs we can sit here and pray and stuff, and then a fireplace. To, to warm this place up so yeah I think it's I think it's cool I think it's um, really nice and cozy but that's all for the castle here let's fly out and take a look at what we have here I'm gonna park core down 
really really quick here and then I'm actually I'm just gonna go out on the balcony and then just fly here so yeah and that is all for first episode I really do hope that you're excited for Seafort I am I'm very very excited for this it's a unique location and therefore I hope it's gonna be a unique building but let me know down below what you think guys anyway it's been Vigoman and I'm out